Hello guys and welcome back to the SCPL. My name is Kix. Joining me is Rapper and you're watching us here for our second set of the evening. It's Net Wars vs. Soul. Net Wars currently up 1-0. True Touch getting a win there over Spire in an amazing fashion. And obviously we're going to be heading into set 2 in just a second. Uh, we've got a really cool map for you as well. It's going to be on Plasma, so looking forward to that. So without further ado, let's introduce our players. Uh, obviously, it's very late for Rapid right now. I think it's like, what, <laughs> The only thing I'm looking forward to, Kicks, is the cold embrace of death. But uh, hopefully wow. that comes after the end of this series. Uh, because it uh, it is going to be by far one of the best series that we have seen. Uh, just all STPL long. Uh, Kogut and Noob, just, I mean, Noob is a guy that's won multiple tournaments, amateur tournaments here in Korea. There's a uh, amateur circuit called KEG that they used to run for Brood War that they still kind of run, uh, not under that name, but for amateur players that it happens periodically. Uh, it doesn't get any coverage at all, but uh, Noob said very well in that previously, and he's killed Have At used before, so super, super sick to see. And then Kogut is just one of the best non uh, non-Korean players just, just ever. Yeah, both of them tied up 4-0 this round. Uh, Noob obviously with a better, uh, a better record last round went 6-1. for one. But I mean, Koget is currently 8-3 for three against Protoss and Noob is 6-1 for one against Terran. So two of these players titans in this respective matchup. And they're going to be playing here on a bit of a weird map, I must admit. It's currently balanced in the SCPL 3 for 3 PBT. And Koga is known for playing really cool styles, so it should be cool here, obviously. Noob as well, very, very tricky in his approach to this matchup. So how is this going to play out? Let's find out as we go into game number two. Now it was Koga versus Souls Noob. Okay, and starting us off here in the 10 o'clock position, we do have in the teal, fighting for Net Wars, it's Koga. That's right, runner-up of, uh, I think it was BSL Season 4, um, so looking forward to what he can do both there in Season 5 and here in STPL for his team, his opponent. In the red, uh, playing Protoss here. This is Souls Noob. Yeah, now one good thing about this game so far is Noob hasn't sent a probe out just yet, so it's not going to be ended with a proxy gate at the very beginning of the game like we've seen in a few games so far on this map. Uh, but it looks like the, the poll this time is very, very close. We actually had... A decent number of votes. Koga Noob. Koga actually getting the edge with 56% of those votes. Uh, but Noob with 43% as well. Looks like even the audience are undecided who's going to be the better player here. And I'm really looking forward yeah. to uh, seeing how this is going to play out. Well, in truth, not even the audience knows who they should cheer for. They look at these two players and they're just like, they might have bias, but their bias is not so biased that they don't know that they should be cheering for both of these players because they are actually just so badass. So uh, it's just absolutely just, I, I want to, I, I feel so jealous of the people watching in Twitch checks. I want to be one of you uh, <laughs> and just like chill out and watch these games while I'm just like eating some popcorn or something. I don't actually eat popcorn because the little kernel shells get stuck under my gums, but for what for what it's worth i just want to chill out and watch this um and so you guys are truly uh blessed to be uh be able to witness this spectacle uh, and it does look like it's not going to be anything super crazy uh early on we're not skipping gas and going for an earlier command center uh we're not uh, you know proxy gating uh and, and to be fair this is a weird map so you can't really predict what to expect but i would expect to see uh, you know high tech uh maybe air commitment uh, something like Raze, maybe, from our Terran player. and Maybe going into Corsairs, but I would expect maybe more shuttle play from Noob. Yeah, now just to confirm something in chat to Jenna, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, welcome to uh, the SCPL. Cool to see you here. But uh, just to confirm, Foxhan is joking. Games on Plasma absolutely do count. Just to make sure you understand. And anyone else who may have read Foxhan's chat and thinking, 
This game doesn't count? What? Nope, this is just the SCPL. Uh, I've been known for the past two years to run tournaments with maps that maybe you wouldn't see in many other tournaments. And you know what? For the SCPL, it's bought some, uh, some amazing games, so I will never change that stance. That is just my tournaments. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. I must admit, Rapid, I was a bit confused when you said that uh, the popcorn kernels get stuck under your gums. But I guess it's where yeah, it's uh, 7 a.m. It's, it's the shells of the kernels, not the kernels themselves, Kicks. It's a problem. Under your gums, though? How yeah, you, they're shards, man. They're sharp. Okay, I, I kind of see it. It's a struggle. Don't Don't hate. Appreciate. Okay, we've actually got a proxy factory coming in from Kogan. He's going proxy two fact in unfortunately the wrong location, so he's not going to be able to get in to the uh, the main of his opponent super quickly. I mean, I think the idea is what he would have done is float them down into the bottom left main, but a little bit of a miscount there by Koga. He's going to be up against a Robo in the main here, so we're going to see Revatech most likely. No Starport in sight for Koga either. So things would be a little bit interesting. I mean, he is going to be able to get some tanks, maybe shell down from the high ground, break through the eggs, but Koget's in a bit of a weird position now. Uh, yeah, this is this is excessively strange, uh, Kix. You have correct, correctly identified that. Uh, but it's going to be really, really cool. He just has to find a way to get either high ground vision or uh, something like that. I guess, maybe, what if you float one of... What if, what if you make tanks... And float a factory for high ground vision, and then kill off the pylons powering everything in the main. Damn, the sickest strats. I don't know what to expect because this map just only always gives us uh, the weirdest games. So yeah. uh, it's going to be mines. Uh, so it's going to be a more diverse kind of uh, composition here. But I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Now Kogan's going to go straight into a dropship here. We should see the control tower coming up immediately. But the trouble is. He's going to have no units in his main to defend against this Reaver. And the thing is, his SCV is not going to be able to get in scout this either. So, I mean, can Koga get up? He can't even see the minerals from the uh, from the ramp, so he's not going to be able to break through. And Koga is going to get completely blindsided by this. The... I'm sure he's going to build a wraith first, but this wraith is very, very late already. Like, he... Ooh. Trouble is, if he doesn't build a... Oh, wow, he's not going to build a dropship, so these units are just going to be stuck in the middle of the map for now. He's not going to what? bring them back to defend. But without the Wraith, he can't defend anyway, so this is a bit of a catch-22 for him. Well, to be fair, this is the uh, this shuttle is taking just quite a while to move out. Reaver's just now popping out, and then drops it again. He's like, well, do I want it in the shuttle or not? Like, yeah, it's spoiler alert, scarabs. Man. Yeah, you want, it, you want it in the shuttle, so... He's only building three. Uh, we're, gonna have, we're on a scare of budget here. But he'll send that across the map sooner or later. My question is just like, what is the plan for these uh, these mech units in the middle of the map, Kicks? I mean, if he gets siege mode, he can maybe break through the eggs, but there is Dragoons here already. Uh, obviously, the uh, Vultures are actually having trouble getting down the ramp as well. There's too many units going down at once. Uh, but we're going to see the Wraith move out. Is the Wraith going to get in and see this shot? Oh my god, he could actually snipe the shot. There's no Dragoon back here to defend. The the Reaver gets picked up. Has Koget seen the shot? Yes, he has. He's going to chase it down. And this is going to purely come down to Micro now. Yeah, he's going to avoid the uh, Dragoons, the arch nemesis of <laughs> Rays everywhere. But he held off the shuttle. That's the big point. He's not going to die to a Reaver dropping in his mineral line. So the game goes on, and it's going to go on in a really weird way. Two siege tanks shelling through the thin wall of eggs. And Dragoons take a long time to move down this tiny ramp. It's deceptively a uh, long travel distance because it's just so hard to get down there. And so there's only maybe one, two Dragoons that could come down and try to try to stop this uh, attempt to break through. So this is still a really cool attempt by Koga to break out. He just has to make sure to be vigilant with his Wraith to stop the shuttle from escaping the base. Yeah, the thing is there's a lot of tanks coming in behind this as well. The funny thing is as well, uh, with the way you look at this, we saw an OBS go into the main, but it couldn't actually do anything, because obviously it sees there's no defense, but then he's up against this big push, so... Is Koga going to make this work? He's using the eggs as a semi-wall as well, trying to bug out some of those scarabs, and he's slow pushing into the main! This is absolutely impeccable what? pushing! Oh, he's going to sight the shuttle here! Oh, he's not micro oh, the shuttle! The, the Reaver dies to a siege tank shot! What?! <coughs> okay! 
Well, that's like the worst possible situation. And Kix is dying from those siege tank shots yeah. too. Oh man, I, I, it's ever since I made that, um, ever since I made that clip of Chessy like dying to the irradiate, I keep coughing whenever <laughs> stuff happens in game. <laughs> I've cursed myself. <laughs> it's the ultimate uh, cursed curse. But either so way, this is this is such a good. rough place to deal with, especially with the Wraith giving high ground vision. Now, the Reaver's still a Reaver. Like, let's not get it twisted. That's still going to be really strong oh, uh, until it dies instantly. Yep. Okay. All right. Shut up, Rapid. You don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Everything's going to die to these siege tanks because Ko gets a god and it's going for this wacky, crazy strat that just might pay off. Yeah, I genuinely thought, what is he going to do with his units in the middle? And he has proven us all wrong. He's going to go up to this natural expansion with the vultures, going to kill every single probe here. And there's not enough here to defend with the tanks. There's five tanks now. GG! And Koga takes down Noob in game number two. Man, my net wars Chingus, man. These guys are killing it. I love it. Uh, against some of the sickest, uh, about the only better player you could field here is like either Mind or Best who are on, uh, well, I guess they're on White Clan. But yeah, anyway, uh, there, there's a lot of other uh, very strong, I think Misu's on Seoul, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, there's a lot of other uh, Korean pro gamers that are on this team. But yeah, Noob, uh, Spire, um, Famas E, like some of the biggest, Famas baddest names. Uh, okay, uh, okay, they're both Korean teams. Like, cut me some slack here, Kix. Uh, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of good players, and it's very impressive to watch Net Wars do so well against them. Uh, like you said earlier, Seoul is undefeated, and so this is perhaps the, uh, the chance that Net Wars have to stop that from being the case any longer. It is. Now, we're going to get into game number three, which, uh, which will be when we get back. It's going to be Buell versus Bonus. So we've gone from one excellent TVP to another. So we'll see you when we get back.